It shows gun violence surges during the warmer months and two hospitals are teaming up to prevent that violence. UC Medical and Cincinnati Children's announcing a joint pediatric and adult hospital violence intervention program. And now we're learning when the program is set to begin. WLWT News 5's Lindsay Stone joins us live from UC Medical Center with more on this rollout, Lindsay. Well, Chris, recruitment just began to hire staff for these positions, and the goal is to have them in place so that this program can get underway by August. Community activists I spoke to are praising the program, but they worry that the need for it will continue to grow this summer before the program begins. 911, what is the address of the emergency? The city of Cincinnati, fed up with gun violence, awarded UC Health and Cincinnati Children's a $600,000 grant to create a hospital violence intervention program back in February. We've done a great job historically at providing um, outstanding medical care um, for the victims of gun violence, um, but we really need to do more to provide the necessary support for not only the patients, but also their families. The program will hire violence prevention professionals to help victims of gun violence and their families. We provide them with the links to the important community-based organizations uh, for resources, whether it be um, housing, employment, um, food insecurity. Dr. Amy Makeley is the trauma medical director at UC Health and says the need is critical. Unfortunately for a city of our size, we see too high uh, a number of victims of violence. Uh, between our two institutions, we see about 500 victims a year. Many of them teens. We have young people as young as six or seven years old having access to guns, but we have kids 12, 13 carrying guns. Ennis Tate founded the Positive Force, helping teens escape the violence. All of our young people are dealing with trauma and the more important part was their parents were dealing with trauma. So that's when we got involved in trauma informed care and really started to look at the root cause of a lot of things that are happening. And while data shows gun violence increases in the summer months, the violence intervention program won't begin helping patients until August. We need to do this um, the right way. The, the stakes are too high to not do this very thoughtfully and diligently. Now, when the program rolls out, it'll go towards uh, helping those victims of gun violence ages 0 to 44. Data shows it is the need, the ages with the most need. The goal, though, is to continue to expand that program in the future. Live tonight from UC Medical, Lindsay Stone, WLWT News 5. All right, Lindsay, thank you.